According to fishery study, the U.S. is the third largest global consumer of a seafood fishery product. As consumers, we recognize that when we buy seafood, we only have a short period of time before the product goes bad. But why is this? Studies have shown that bacterial growth on the fish fillets are the cause of spoilage of the product in general that eventually causes us as consumers to throw them in the trash. In our study, we screen candidate bacteria from catfish in Delaware State Aquaculture Facility and we identify what kind of bacteria species result in fish spoilage. Bacteria are messy eaters even though they don't have mouths. They produce enzymes to act on their environment to break down nutrients for easier absorption. Because fish fillets are just a muscle, they contain DNA, they contain high quantities of protein, so the breakdown of these factors really degrade the quality of the fish fillets. And from our study, we discover a bacteria strain, which is a ranella species. That might be first discovered that result in uh, fish spoilage for the first time. To know what kind of bacteria result in the fish spoilage, how could we prevent, how could we control that kind of bacteria? From this idea, we could uh, apply other natural ingredients to suppress bacteria uh, growth uh, on the fish product. So a natural inhibitor is really the long-term goal of this project. I believe that uh, this project provides beneficial information to aquaculture farmer, uh, fishery company, and finally consumer, how we should handle uh, seafood and aquaculture products.